This is Mark from the Incarnate team, and this is a walkthrough of the 3.5 Character Creator. We're running Incarnate on a Mac for this walkthrough, but it's important to remember that, as a web app, Incarnate will run on any browser-enabled device. We begin on the Character Library screen. As you can see, this is where all your previously created characters wait for you to select and edit them. We're not going to choose any of these right now, though, but instead start from scratch with a new player character. We're designing the character creator and all of Incarnate to feel like a video game interface with an attractive, easy to use UI. Right now, we have the core SRD classes and races implemented. As you can see, we're settling on a female elf rogue. Now it's time to roll for abilities. We have the standard roll method implemented right now, but the next push includes points based, heroic, and classic methods as well. Ability rolls also take into account racial modifiers. You can easily swap out the scores from this screen. Also, if you want to roll physical dice, the released app will allow you to quickly type in values as well if that's your preference. On this next screen, you can fill in details on your character, give him or her a name, decide a starting level, and choose a portrait for your character, and more. The final release version will have dozens of portraits to choose from. Since our girl here is a rogue, skill point allocation is going to be very important. The info panel to the right is handy reference throughout character creation and in this instance gives you key information about each skill. Since this character is only first level, there's only a single feat slot to be filled. Once that choice has been made, Incarnate grays out the screen to signal that there's no more feats available to select. On the Equip screen, you can roll for starting gold or type in whatever you want. Then enter the Marketplace to select Starting Equipment. When we launch, our goal is for every equipable item in the SRD to have an illustration. And in the future, we intend to release art packs that will give options for different looks for your arms and armor. Next, you can equip your items in your character. Not only can you see the illustration of the item, but the app also calculates stats like your to hit, damage, armor class, etc. And the final result is your hero sheet. When we launch, you'll be able to change the stats on this sheet by typing over the values, and you'll be able to print it out from a PDF if you want to play with pen and paper and just use the character creator as a preparation tool. So that's the current state of the character creator. Thanks for checking it out, and let us know what you think on our Kickstarter page.